welcome back to my channel. We are getting ready to take our six kids on a family cruise and I'm gonna show you everything that I do to pack and get ready and how I prepare. Next we're gonna talk about the snacks. For this trip we have a 10 hour drive to California and I know with kids it can be very, very hard to do a long road trip like that, but things that I do to prepare. I make a snack bag for each of the kids and I say, you can have as many of these snacks as you want, but when it's gone, it's gone. The bag is specifically for the drive there. And then I also have activities. Um, we have the kids' schoolwork that they're gonna be missing, because they're gonna be missing school. So we talked to the teachers ahead of time and got their schoolwork. We went to the library, got a whole bunch of new books. And then we have a snack bag for each kid. So I'm gonna show you how I make my snack bags, what I put in them. So when choosing the items that I'm gonna put in my snack bag, I have to think, is it messy? Is it sticky? And can a toddler eat this by himself while buckled into a moving vehicle? I didn't do too many drinks because I don't want to be stopping to use the bathroom nonstop, but I did do one drink. That's another tip. When one person uses the bathroom, make everybody use the bathroom. Even if they say they don't need to go, let me tell you from experience, they do. You say, yes you do, get out of the toilet. Not just on the road trip part, the entire trip. If one person is using the bathroom, everybody goes to the bathroom. Otherwise, you will be doing bathroom breaks every 20 minutes nonstop. So that's one thing I've learned from having so many kids is that when one kid goes to the bathroom, we bring all the kids. So like I said, they do need a drink, but not a ton of drinks. So I do have a Capri Sun. And it's the 100% juice kind, so it's not like the sugary garbage crap. It's like, this is real juice, so. I got that kind. These are a favorite at our house. I have a kid who doesn't like chocolate, so we get the strawberry kind. They're small, they're not super messy. Fruit bars are small, they fit into my toddler's hand without making a huge mess. They are sticky, but I know that my toddler loves these and that he will eat them. If you have a toddler who might not, then you might want to avoid these, but I know my kids like these. Individually packaged beef jerkies, fishy crackers. In all of this, you're probably gonna have crumbs. You have kids sitting there for 10 hours. There's gonna be a little bit of a mess, but I can handle crumbs, I can vacuum up crumbs. It's the sticky and liquid that you don't wanna have to deal with. Fruit snacks, we have never tried these. One of my kids wanted to try it, so I thought, okay, we'll try something new. There's no dunking, they're already pre-dunked, so you don't have to worry about having to dunk it in something and spilling it, whatever. Animal crackers. I know they're not individually packaged, but my toddler loves them, and so I'm going to put them in little baggies that we can put in their bag. Granola bars. Applesauce pouches. These are perfect for on the go, and I got plenty. I got one box for the drive there, one box for when we are there. These are gonna come in handy at Disneyland when it starts getting fussy in the lines, and then I have one more box for on the drive back. So this is our plan for the week. We rented an SUV that could fit all of our family and all of our bags. The first day we are going to Disneyland, the next day we're gonna drive down and get on the cruise ship. So I need to pack snacks for on the drive at Disneyland, in our cruise ship, and on the way back home. Because we are renting a vehicle, we're gonna park it at the cruise ship parking lot. So that means I can bring my own car seats and leave them in the car the entire week and I don't have to haul them with me on the ship. I'll just bring a little stroller. But I'm also gonna leave some snacks in the back of the car so that I do not have to carry them or deal with them taking up space in the cruise ship. I'm doing the snacks that won't be affected by temperature changes in the car, whether it's super hot or super cold, whatever the temperature is gonna be, these snacks will be okay. So I decided I'm gonna leave some in the car all week long, specifically for the drive home. And it's gonna be things like chips and applesauce packets, maybe a box of Capri Sun. You know, things that aren't gonna melt in the hot sun. And then I got a couple snacks to have on the ship. I know that there are restaurants. There's gonna be unlimited food everywhere we look on the ship, but there's sometimes where the kids need a little snack and you aren't able to hurry and drag everyone down to the little food shop downstairs. So I did want some easy snacks that we could have in our room that we could feed our kids any time of night. And that will be these and the applesauce packets. I'm gonna label our snacks that stay in the car ahead of time so we can remember not to pull them out when we are unloading for the ship. I'm labeling these so that when I have Dean help me unload the car, then he will know what to bring in and what to leave in the car. We use an app called Trello on a daily basis. We use it for our shopping list. 
but also we use it for our to-do list and packing lists. You can share the list with other people. So I will share my packing list or my to-do list with Dean and then he can see it on his phone. And then if he thinks of something that needs to be done before we leave or something that needs to go on our lists, then he will add it on his phone and it will automatically add it on my phone. I like that this app is shareable. And so when he makes changes, it automatically makes a change on my phone and we can see each other's list and know what each other has coming up and try to help each other out with that. So I will just show you. So I have Andy's packing list and then I have the kid, other kids' packing list. So I have Josiah, Corey, Jamie, Emma, and Gwen packing list all in one spot, my packing list, and then I have my to-do list before the trip. And when I finish something, I can check it off and Dean can see that it is checked off and it is done. Or when he finishes something, then he can check it off so we can both see at any given moment how close we are to being all the way packed or what we still need to get done. I've gone through all the kids' clothes and pulled out what I want to bring. I've sorted them by type and whose they are. So we have Josiah, Corey, Jamie, Emma, Gwen, and Andy's. Remember to check the weather. We are going in December, even though we're going on a tropical cruise, looking at the weather, it turns out some of the days are gonna be rainy. And I'm glad I checked because I was about to go pack all, all of the kids' tank tops and shorts. I am gonna pack the kids' bags a little bit differently. In the past, I would give each of the kids their own suitcases with all of their own stuff inside that they would be in charge of. And I'm still gonna have each of the kids be in charge of their own bag, but I'm going to have each bag be designated to a type of clothes instead of a specific person. So I'll have one bag be for all of the kids' pajamas and another for all of the swimming suits and another for all of the day clothes because what always ended up happening is I would go to the bags to get swimming suits or PJs and I would have to open up all six bags for one pair of clothes every single time we wanted to change clothes. I know you could say, well, why didn't you just have the kids get their own clothes? But when you are in a small RV or small cruise cabin, there isn't space for everyone to go open all of the bags at once. A lot of the times the kids were too little or they didn't know where to find their items. They would end up messing up all of the piles looking for one thing and I would have to go help them anyways. So it's just easier this way. Now, no matter what we are changing our clothes for, I only have to pull out and open one bag and I get what I need for all six kids every single time. Because there are so many day clothes, I'm going to have to have two bags for that. I'll put half in each bag, but I'm still going to have full outfits for each kid with underwear and socks. So I still only have to open one bag. I'm also putting a couple of the underwears in the pajama bag. I also brought one set of formal clothes for each kid for the formal night on the cruise. I got a lot of my bags from Amazon. I will link whatever I can. Gwenny, show me your new bag. Is it too heavy or, or can you get it? Okay. It can even go around, see? Is it too heavy? No. Nope. It's not Is that too it? Heavy. Nice. Do you love it? Yeah. Because it has unicorns. Yeah, you love unicorns, huh? Uh, yes. Yeah. I want it this side. Okay. It's fat. It's fat. Yeah. Why is it so fat? Because we filled it up. So each of the kids have their own bag, but they are full of everybody's things. I'm gonna go through and put a label on each bag so that I know what is inside them without having to open them or remember. Emma's bag is full of half of the kids' day clothes. Josiah's bag is full of the other half of the kids' day clothes. Corey's bag is full of the pajamas. Jamie's bag is full of the swimming suits. Gwen's bag is full of extra diapers, wipes, and blankets for Andy. we will put a little label on top and just write what they are. Years ago, I bought a 50 pack wristbands and I have been using them for years. Every single time we go out of town, I will put my kids' names, I'll put their name and our phone number on it and put it on their wrist so that if for some reason they get lost, they have their phone numbers and their name right on it. And now we've never had to use them, like we've never lost a kid. We do it just in case because we don't want to ever have a situation where we wish we had them, but we didn't. Now I'm also going to use these to label the bags. I'll just write what is in the bag and then 
wrap it around the handle and then I will be able to know what's in the bag without having to open it or try to remember. The number one thing you need to make sure you have would be documentation. You need a birth certificate for all of the kids and passports for the adults. Have one file for everybody's information that you can easily grab in a carry-on bag or a diaper bag or whatever you're gonna have on you at all times so that at any given time you can pull out one envelope and have everybody's documentation. I already talked about these but they are the kids' wristbands with names and phone numbers on and on the cruise we could even put our cabin room number since our phone won't be working. Next we have walkie talkies. When we are on the cruise our cell phones are not gonna have service but we want to still have a way to get a hold of each other. Also it's fun for the kids if we give one to one kid and one to another kid and then we can listen in on them and make sure that they're staying safe. Waterproof phone cases with a lanyard. This is for when we are swimming, maybe our swimsuit doesn't have pockets and we don't want to lose our phone or get it wet. A video baby monitor. We got two joining rooms and so there will be times when the babies will be sleeping in one room, the other kids will be in the other room and we want to be able to keep our eye on the baby. I'm also bringing Tide Pods and dryer sheets. There is a laundry service on the cruise but these do cost extra so I'm gonna bring my own. Kids motion sickness medicine. My husband and I do not get motion sickness but we've never taken our kids on a cruise before and we don't know if they will and so I'm gonna bring them just in case. I am bringing coloring books for the littler kids and I'm using these adjustable crayons so I don't have to worry about broken crayons everywhere or a bunch of crayons everywhere. It's just these these five. For the drive I have plenty of activities. These are reusable water coloring pads. All you have to do is fill the pen up with water and the kids can paint without making a mess and then when it dries they can do it again. During the drive while my husband was driving I used my water bottle to refill these and I just put a cup under the pen to catch any water that spilled. I got plenty of on-the-go activity books. They are small, they come with a pencil, they're full of activities to keep the kids busy for the 10 hour drive as well as when we are on the cruise. And of course a pencil sharpener in case those pencils break. You also want to bring any medications that you may need for the kids, for yourself, bring kids ivory ibuprofen, kids Tylenol, adult ibuprofen, adult Tylenol, a thermometer to check the kids' temperatures, bring your own first aid kit, band-aids, Nearsporn, because when you get on the cruise, those things are not going to be accessible to you. A lot of cruises don't even carry kids' medicines. If they do, they are three times the price, so bring your own. Don't forget swim diapers, hats, sunglasses. The cruise will have life jackets for the kids that they can borrow, but if you plan on getting off of the ship, you cannot take those life jackets with you. So if you plan on getting off to do a water excursion or sit on the beach, you will need your own life jackets. Make sure you bring big garbage bags for the dirty clothes and smaller grocery bags for maybe your wet clothes for those times when you have to change a diaper on the go and you have nowhere else to put it. For my vitamins, I used to have to bring a bunch of little bottles, but ever since I switched to Kara Vitamins, they come in one compact little bag. So I just bring however many little packs of days that I need. I will leave a link in the description where you can take the quiz to find out what vitamins you should be taking. And if you use my link, you'll get 50% off your first order. Now for my bag. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I got this on Amazon. 30 inches rolling multi-pocket upright duffel bag. I really like duffel bags because I feel like you can fit a lot of extra things in them because you can squish things on the sides and it can expand. But the thing I don't like about duffel bags is that they don't usually have wheels. So I got one that has wheels and it has so many pockets. Look at this. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one large one right here. So seven, it has seven pockets. It can fit everything in it. So it's sitting up right. So in here we have, this pocket we have our masks and laundry soap and dryer sheet. This pocket we have sanitizing wipes, hand sanitizer, extra bags. I have garbage bags, grocery bags, Ziploc bags, gallon size and sandwich size. This one we have all of our medications. We got adults Tylenol and ibuprofen, children's Tylenol and ibuprofen. We have vitamin C for the kids, kids immunity boosters, um, my vitamins, kids' hair kit in here, ponies, water, hairspray. This one we have the kids' motion sickness medicine. We have our walkie talkies, 
We have our first aid kit. We have extra batteries for the walkie talkies. That's our first aid kit. I just put them in a little baggie so it doesn't take as much space. And then the top one, we have necklaces. I have them in a bag so I don't get things up. For the kids, I packed some flip flops and a pair of running shoes for each kid. In this long pocket on the side, I ended up being able to fit all of the kids' flip flops in. And I will have the kids wear their running shoes on the drive down since they are bulkier and harder to pack. For the toothbrushes, I did not want them all touching, so I put one in the end of the gallon sized Ziploc bag, folded it one time, added another, folded it one more time, and kept doing this until I got all of them in. And then I brought a pack of individual floss sticks for the kids. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for the next one.